So now let's go back to PHP Storm and we need to create a method that will allow us to discover these movies. So let's create a public function. Uh, public function, let's call it discover movies. Oops, discover mo movies. And the first thing we want to do here is to create an, an, an empty array. Um, this is where we're going to store the data that we gather from or collect from the API. Next, we're going to actually store the endpoint. So if we go back to the documentation, the endpoint is slash discover slash movie. Um, so we're going to do slash discover slash movie. Oh, I've just remembered one important point. Um, because I actually didn't add the slash v3, sorry, slash 3 uh, on our endpoints, I'm going to have to manually add it here. But it's one thing to note as well. When it comes to APIs, most of the time you would have different versions. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, or you could add it here. But I prefer to do it like this. Um, next, we're actually going to try and connect to our endpoints. But before that, let's set options. Um, the options are what we're going to pass to our endpoints. And I'll explain that in a second. It's actually required. So query, whoops. query equals this query. So this is what I mentioned earlier on. So this is our query, the API key. And we're going to pass that API key to our um, endpoints. The reason why we have to do that is because it mentions in the documentation that it's actually a required parameter query string. So we have to pass that in. Everything else is optional, as you can see. So now, instead of just calling the client straight away, I'm going to actually do a try. And we're going to set request there request is equal to this client get at first thing we're going to pass is our endpoint the next thing we'll pass is our options um, so let me just get rid of this squiggly line I hate when coding and PHP storm starts crying at me so let's set an exception here this basically sets um, an error log within our well depending on where you want it to um, store so I'm just gonna create a watch dog exception and it stops the site from breaking as well uh, let's the type is going to be movie directory or whatever anything you want it to be and we are going to set oops next parameter we're actually going to pass the exception which I forgot to create here and we are then going to get the actual message that Perfect. Okay. Oops. Don't need a comma there. Next thing we're going to do is create the results variable. So this is going to be request. Request. I want to get the body. Something's not right here. So I would have expected the get body to allow me to. Ah, okay. We've got the pointy arrow thingy here okay so now get body once you've got the body of our results we then want to get the contents of it so get contents once we've got that we it most of the time it tends to come back to us as a json string so we want to actually decode that json string so we're going to do json decode and results right so this just to summarize, we set our endpoint, we set the options, the required parameters that this endpoint needs. We then get make a request to it, we then get the content of it, and then decode the data, sorry, the results, so that we can then use it as an array. Um, once we've stored this, we actually need to return what we've just um, collected from the endpoint. So return data. But now we need to actually verify this is actually working. So let's go back to our controller. And what we're going to do here is find a way to display the list of movies. But for now, what I'm going to do instead is actually 
um, nope, sorry, I forgot one step. Before we even we can even call our um, connector, we actually need to create a service. So let's create a new file. So that's movie underscore directory dot services dot yaml. And we want to start off with services movie directory dot let's call it API connector. And we're going to set the class to be what we the file we just created. So Drupal backslash movie directory oops slash movie API connector and for arguments so the arguments are what we pass to the construct here which is the client factory so we are going to set client factory within our arguments so that's just going to be oops, at HTTP client underscore factory and that's it for this so now we need to clear caches so that's Josh CR. Remember in the previous video, I mentioned that this only this is an error from uh, me. It, you won't um, necessarily see this on your side, so you can ignore this. Now that we've created our um, services, we now need to go back to our movie listing and find a way to actually call this. So for now, we are going to okay. Let's just create a method straight away. So public. Um, function and let's list let's call it list movies and in here we need to somehow find a way to actually call our movie so there's one way to do this we can create a movie API connector service and do Drupal service and the ID of our service we just created, which is going to be this. Um, and for those of you guys using PHP Storm, I like to do this because it then allows me to auto complete on um, methods within this um, service. So for example, movie API connector, and you can see our public function that was in our um, class here, which was discover movies. So let's actually store this. So let's call create a new variable and call it um, list movie. Nah, let's call it movie list and use our service and let's discover movies. And I am going to set a breakpoint here. We're actually going to use a debugger to actually see what's coming back for us. So let's do any random thing here just to allow me to create a breakpoint here and we still won't be able to get this because we we haven't called this public method so we then need to in our view function method we should call this so let's do this um, list movies so once we reload our page we should be triggering the, um, this method and also debug. So I'm going to turn on my debugger now to listen and go back to Chrome, go back to my movie page, I'm going to start my debugger and refresh. Okay, so accept. It may take a while. I think it's the first time I'm debugging. Oops, we have an error. So let's try again. Okay, so now let's figure out what's actually going on here. So, trash WS, which is watchdog show. And the error is redirection. Okay, we can't find the movie API connector. And that's because I forgot to set the namespace for this. So, namespace oops drupal no not that the directory 
but it doesn't like it for some reason. I can't see what I'm doing. Ah, okay. I don't need that. All right, let's try that one more time. So refresh. It looks promising. But I forgot to turn on my debugger. No, nope, we have another error. So back to PHP Storm. Let's figure out what's going on. Call to member function get on null. Discover movies. Okay, so let's go back to our connector class and figure out what's going on on line 33. Okay, so we have this client get. Hmm. I can't see anything wrong here. All right, let me pause the video on debug and then probably explain what happened. Okay, um, pretty embarrassing, but looks like the error was this. I spelled construct wrong. Took a while to figure out, but that's what was breaking my work. So if I go back to our controller class, um, we should be able to run our debugger. So again, we what we're doing, we're calling our connector we're then dis um, calling the discover movies method and we're going to store whatever we get into movie list. Um, so now let's go back here and then refresh our page and hopefully the debugger should pick, um, so, sorry, should catch something. It may take a while to load. Okay, so movie list looks like we are getting some stuff. All right, so this is what we're getting from our endpoint. We've got page one, so I'm assuming it's telling us one page one. We've got the results, um, pages, and total results. So I can only assume total results is the amount of movies found, pages are the amount of pages within this endpoint, and results are most likely going to be movies. So let's open one up. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home and at the time of recording um, it's 24th December and I believe yes Spider-Man was actually released not long ago on the 15th of December um, so good it looks like we are getting some stuff here so let's let this run let's remove our breakpoints and let's actually return this data that we get so we want to make sure that we uh, movie list is set so or definitely not empty so if not empty movie list and if you remember we were actually looking in the results property so if the results are not empty we want to return this so return oops again with the spelling do forgive me it's 1 17 a.m in the morning so i'm gonna be a bit slacky so movie list results um, we're going to have a fallback as well. So in case we don't have anything, we're just going to return an empty array. Good. Um, so as you saw earlier, we had tons and tons of movies. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show us how to break that down and display them properly on our page.